essential to the formation, direction, and support of the military. Thank you. I think the, if you would beg our indulgence and have the time in your busy schedule, I think RC has the final question that is in the minds of many in regard to your career. Mr. Hamilton, this is actually a two-part question, and I, I realize it may touch on an awkward area, but I appreciate it. Touch away, RC. <laughs> so I said, two-part question. Why were you such a bad shot? <laughs> and to follow up, in, in the years since your demise, there have been great advancements in the areas of bulletproof technology. I'm curious your thoughts on those technological advancements. Why was I such a bad shot, and what about bulletproof technology? Hmm. Well, there are two rules to think about my duel with Mr. Err. One, I didn't want to kill him. I gave advice to my son Philip many years before, in a duel, to shoot up, shoot away, don't kill. I should have not taken the same advice, for he died also in a duel. Two ways it could have happened, sir. One, I shot away. I didn't think Burr would kill me. I thought we would shoot, it would be done, we would go away. Secondly, Burr shot first, struck me in the abdomen, and my arm went in the air and shot the branch that came down. Do you know it was 32 hours before I died? I was a tough old bird. <laughs> Bulletproof technology would have been nice to have back then. Maybe there would have been more boards for me. <laughs> Maybe more biographies. Maybe even an autobiography. Bulletproof technology would be nice to have. But I think I would just like to end, RC, thank you for that question. I would just like to end that I believe I'm a, a forgotten patriot. Do you know that I created the New York Evening Post? Do you know that I was an aide to President Washington in the Revolutionary War? I did many things for my country. I'd like to look over on the last line of the epilogue on my board. And it states, we live in the world he made. <laughs> I would just like all of you to know that in the economic troubles we have now, if I were here today, just give me those books. I balance them for you. <laughs> Thank you, Miller Library. who came out tonight on their own time. Thank you. Introdu introduce Mr. Hamilton. Tim Connors is the Director of Theater and Speech at Freeport High School in Freeport, Illinois. We want to thank him also for coming out this long trip to join us this evening. Thank you. lectures left in our series about Hamilton. Next Tuesday night, same place, same time, right here at Milner, we have Dr. Susan Westbury, who will be talking about Hamilton, the warrior. And on November 13th, we will have Robert Bradley speak on Hamilton's legacy for judicial review. So we hope you take the time to come out and hear these lectures. 
And again, take some time to meet Mr. Hamilton, shake his hand, get your picture taken with him this evening. And thank you for joining us. Thank you.